ओम भूर भुव सहत सवितूर भरेणियम भर्गो देवश धीम धीयो नचोदया तो शांति 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 नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेदास उपनिषद दर्शनास रामायण महाभारत गीता दीज आर द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट होली बुक्स फॉर सनातना धर्म उपनिषद दे आर द होली बुक्स गिविंग ब्रह्म ज्ञान आत्म ज्ञान सेल्फ नॉलेज The stories from the Upanishads they are very very important for those who want to enter the field of spiritualism because they are not mere stories but they give the deep knowledge of brahma gyan atam gyan or the knowledge of the self they help the sadhakas to proceed in their sadhana so the stories from the upanishads are not mere legends they form part of the book of life they embody the teaching of the rishis as imparted on various occasions and under various circumstances the method of instruction also varies according to the nature of the seeker after truth a selection of these stories is given here so that we may understand clearly the deep significance of the vedas it would not be out of place to state briefly what the upanishads are and what they signify the veda is primarily divided into two parts the samhita and the brahmana the haimans the haimans as collected together form the samhita it is divided into four parts rik yajas sama and atharva that part of the or we can say rigveda yajurveda samaveda or atharveda that part of the veda which explains the samhita is known as the brahmana it deals primarily with the technique of f offering sacrifices the arneka gives to us the sense of the vedas this term signifies that it is the message of the forest as taught in the hermitages to which the sages resorted in order to be in tune with the infinite the upanishads form the concluding part of the arnekas according to sayana the word upanishad means a rahasya the upanishads are secret sessions where brahma vidya or the knowledge of the atma was imparted the upanishads form the gyan kanda they are the wisdom books as contrasted with the karm kanda which deals with rituals thus the samhita brahmana arneka and upanishad together constitute the veda there are 108 upanishads which are considered as authentic sankracharya has written commentaries on 10 of them and if we conclude the sveta sutara on 11 of them in the following pages an attempt has been made to explain the hidden significance of some of the episodes given us in given up in the upanishads and to bring to light the philosophy that lies embedded in those stories from those stories we may gather much information on the social moral and political and religious condition of vedic india
they also throw a flood of light on the origin history and development of brahma vidya of the knowledge of the supreme the method of imparting that knowledge and the effect of its attainment in addition to laying stress upon life highest values the upanishads give us an insight into the application of these values as exemplified in the self dedicated lives of the sages and the kings who wrought for the good of humanity at large the upanishads lay special stress upon brahmacharya in some sense it is the charya of path to brahma but the path to brahma is through celibacy in the accepted sense of the term the student of the vedas was to lead the life of a brahmachari in the forest hermitages of his spiritual guide the other ashramas or stages in life were built upon the foundation of brahmacharya whatever may be one's special status it was obligatory upon everyone even the devas were not exempted from it we read that indra observed brahmacharya for a hundred years and one in the abode of his spiritual guide in order to attain self realization it was based on the conviction that brahmacharya strengthens the body sharpens the mind and purifies it of all tamasic and rasic tendency the knowledge of the supreme is then revealed to the mind like a flash of lightning that illumines a thousand and isles the early the early impressionable years of life are specially regarded as valuable for the imparting of spiritual knowledge for at that stage the mind need not go through its education of error and unlearn many things before it became fit to receive spiritual instruction the weakness of body and mind which comes in the wake of old age would be so far off to hold no present terror the story of satyakama of swet ketu and varuna may be considered as example to show how youth was considered to be the needed seed time of knowledge every situation in life has its attendant duties it was in order to exemplify and uphold the highest ideals of each one of the stages of life that some of the sages entered upon the life of a householder in this way they harmonized knowledge and activity the story of raika may be cited as an example but as it was only a station in life and not life's goal exceptionally gifted persons proceeded to the next stage the most important one that of renunciation that it was undertaken for the emancipation of the individual and of society at large is brought out in its most attractive form in the life of yajna valkya the ideal society is that which harmonizes knowledge and religion that was why the pursuit of brahma vidya was the common goal of the priestly as well as that of the ruling classes the four vedas in front and a thousand bowmen behind them were the natural accompaniment of the philosopher philosopher kings of those days who in the performance of their duty kept undimmed the ideal of truth equity justice and spirituality the place occupied by women in vedic society was in no way inferior to that occupied by men the right to m- the 
द राइट टू मास्टर वैदिक लर्निंग टू प्रैक्टिस मेडिटेशन एंड एक्वायर द हाइस्ट नॉलेज वॉज ओपन टू बोथ इन द हॉल ऑफ सेक्रीफाइस एज वेल एज इन द असेंबली चैबर दे हैल्ड नो मेन प्लेस इट इज डाउटफुल इफ एनी ऑफ द सोसाइटी कैन प्रोड्यूस ए गार्गी और ए मैत्री हु एग्जैम्पलीफाई द नोबलेस्ट आइडियल्स ऑफ वोमेन वुमेन हुड इन द वैदिक एज इन द वैदिक एज द वैल्यूज ऑफ लाइफ फाइंड देयर सिंथेसिस इन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ट्रूथ द सजेशन ऑफ ट्रूथ आर न्यूमरस द गैसेज एट गॉड आर वेरियस एवरी वन मे सीक इन इट ऑल दैट वन वॉन्ट्स एंड फाइंड ऑल दैट वन सीक्स दैट इज वाई द ओपनिस फॉर्म द सोर्स एंड फाउंट ऑफ वेरियस स्कूल ऑफ थाट इट इज बिकॉज द Upanishads maintain a perfectly balanced spiritual outlook that the various schools of thought with apparently conflicting views do appeal to the Upanishads as their common authority dualistic qualified monists and monists have attempted to interpret the text on their own way The reason is we find in the Upanishads that perfect harmony of faith which reconciles contradictions and assigns each point of view its proper place in a reason reasoned chain of thought it is only by progressing along with the lines of thought that one comes to understand the profound significance of monism as interpreted by sankara the various investigations into the nature of the religion life has combined harmonized and presented in the most beautiful form find expression in the upanishad profound thoughts are found in combination with practical discipline that's why the upanishad satisfy all the needs of the religious life it is a call to the open society of humanity by the cultivation of self restraint it trains the mind to turn towards and release realize immortal immortality or complete fearlessness if sopan hawar said that the upanishads were the solace of his life and would be the solace of his death it was because he felt in the call of the rishis of upanishads the fulfillment of man's eternal quest Summing up the teaching of Upanishad, Dr. Radha Krishnan says, "God's dwelling place is the heart of man. The inner immortal soul and the great cosmic power are one and the same. Brahma is Atma, and Atma is Brahma. One may have every kind of knowledge and yet feel an inner want, as Narada did when he." approached is shanta kumara that hidden want may be satisfied only by knowing that by knowing which all else is known to know that one must give up all else he who loses all for the sake of the lord finds in the lord his way all such is the teaching of the upanishad so upanishad they are very important and the stories of upanishad are very educative So thank you for watching this video please like comment and share the video and subscribe the channel thanks a lot namaskar my dear friends namaskar